show for you today. Yes. Of course, uh, Craig is here as Gene Simmons. That's right. Also, Mark McGrath versus Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf in Rock and Roll mm. Trivia. Today? Hank, yeah, today. Oh, he's really good on that show, though. Mark. He yep. wins when he's on that show. Yeah, well, we'll see if he can take on the Hankster. Is he drunk? The Hankster, the hankster is drunk. And let me tell you something. <laughs> the really Hankster, the weirdest thing about Hank is he is super gifted in the area of rock and roll trivia. As, as drunk, drunk as he is. He beats everyone. He beat Gary. He beat um, <laughs> John the Stutter. John the Stutter, who is really know, good at I it. I heard all that. And he is, and Mark McGrath has agreed to take on Hank. So, um, and also you know, the, I was thinking of another contestant for Hank. Vinny, who claims to know so much. Uh, he, uh, yeah. Vinny no, has Vinny said... Just down right Vinny annoying. begs every right. day to... Please, Vinny has begged me, could he please play the winner of today's contest? Yeah, Vinny is going to play the winner of this all contest. Right, so fine. We'll put him to... See arrest. if he really knows anything. Yeah. He thinks he knows everything. You know, Vinny actually invented kissing ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, hey, tell me what's going on today. All uh, right, now, um, I'm going to play, uh, I'm supposed to play Mark McGrath from uh, Sugar Ray and the Rock and Roll Trivia, like I did against uh, Gary and uh, John the Stutterer a couple Hi. weeks back. All right, I'm here today to play uh, some Rock and Roll Trivia against Hank. And uh, I'm a little nervous because I know he's damn good, and there better be some 80s questions in there because uh, he's the classic rock guy, and I'm the 80s guy, so there better be a few of my questions thrown in there so the game's not completely tempered. But he's damn good. He's a formidable opponent, so I I'm ready to surrender my crown today. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to win. Do you know a lot that Mark McGrath knows a lot about rock and roll trivia? Did you know that? Yeah, I only think it wouldn't be fair, though, that if Howard asked questions about Sugar Ray, the group, because he's with the group. Are you ready to uh, beat Mark McGrath? Hopefully I will. If I don't, I'll be, I'd say, kind of amazing. Will you, will you be upset if you lose to Mark McGrath and Rock Hall Trivia since you know so much? No, I think it'll be close. Depends on the questions that are asked, huh? I'm coming after you, Hank. You're going down. Mark McGrath, I'm going to kick your ass. Kick your ass at rock and roll trivia. You're going down all the way, babe. Mark McGrath will take on Hank, the angry, drunken dwarf. How drunk are you today? Have you been drinking all morning? Yeah, yeah. Right. I, uh, well, at least since I woke up. At least since you woke up. <laughs> and when did you wake up? About six. You ready, man? Hank's in the I'm, I'm nervous now. It's kind of, it's, it's sort of like a vacuum of nervous energy I'm being enveloped in. So I don't know what to expect. And I hope he doesn't attack me, too, man. You know, I'm, I'm here for peace and love, man. <laughs> Who do you think's going to attack you, Howard? Hank's going to get into my mom and how she banged everybody, you know, so. <laughs> it's part of the show. What are you going to do? How does he know we're so lost? It's, it's crazy. Mark McGrath is the lead singer of Sugar Ray. He is considered a trivia expert. He's been on Rock and Roll Jeopardy. Expert. He's been the winner two times yeah. already. I think like, they're retiring him. He's too, he's unbeatable. Yeah, he's too unbeatable. But Hank has been so phenomenal. There he is, Mark Good McGrath. Good Lord. Hey, Hank. Good Lord what? He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, he gets tons of poontang, this I guy. I know, famous. Famous poontang. Not enough, please. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, Mark. As a matter of fact, I took my daughters to a Sugar Ray concert. Yeah. That was fun. I, I, it was weird to see my daughters swoon. He does this little dance on stage, uh, you know. Yeah, and he gets, he's got nice moves and everything. And he gets all, he gets this whole like liquored up thing, and he's like, <laughs> and he gets like, oh man, you know. Starts whining. No, no, no. He talks about he's not a good dancer. And this, the girls go crazy. But that's what I'm saying. He starts whining that something doesn't work out for him. And it's the self-effacing thing, you know. Yeah. It's all, and, it's all I got. And the dude dances around and stuff and my daughters are like oh my god I would do him in a minute I'm right. like you, wait a second don't do people. I'm like wait a second you're not doing anybody <laughs> they were waiting for Blink-182 they didn't care about us yeah, you're yeah, a good looking sure. guy I gotta tell you something I, I had the funniest friggin weekend me and my girlfriend and Scott Einziger and his girlfriend oh, no. we went oh, to the no. Hamptons that's still Mark's starting? girlfriend Maya so we that went. You got to hear this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you. We went to. <laughs> we went out to the Hamptons, right? That's a nice place, the Hamptons, man. I like. You ever nice. been there? I, I've heard stories about it. Howard. It was nice. So Quite anyway, frankly, we got to drag Scott in here. So Mark I'm going can to see that oh, he's no. trying I'm to. I'm gonna. Like but let me set this up. <laughs> let me set this up first. Don't rush me. All right. So we go out there, and I realize Maya, who's so cute, is Scott's uh, girlfriend now for like five years. Every chance she gets, she tells people she was Mark McGrath's girlfriend. She even said that the M that Mark has on his chest is Maya. That is so not true. The tattoo. True. That That's, is so yeah, not true. There's a few M's in Mark's name. <laughs> she says it's about her. Oh, oh 
Yeah, you guys just trying to start. You, you no, know, she swear says she this. Me. No and way. Everyone, because like, because like, we're out to dinner and people lean over and go, "Did you know she dated um, Mark McGrath?" People who just met her. Yeah, <laughs> and I got to admit, I tell everyone she dated Mark McGrath. It's well, like a big I told deal. you I was at Gary's party a couple of weeks ago, and one of Gary's friends was standing there. She says, "Oh, I feel so normal. Everybody here has such exciting jobs. Even that girl over there dated Mark McGrath." <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's constantly brought up. And I started thinking about Einziger. He's like totally in love with Maya. Yeah. And now I notice he started dyeing his hair like you. Oh, no. He yeah. spikes his hair like you. Bring Einziger in here. You got to see. He's he starting to look little, like. Remember the little leather bracelets? He puts yeah. On his trying to look like a rock star. He's doing Mark McGrath. I'm sure Scott is so happy with this. I can't even. B- bring in Einziger. You got to see this. Here, come in here, come in here. Congratulations. Hey, Angela, oh, grab a microphone over there. Sit down. Now you see what color your hair is supposed to be? Yeah, you're supposed to make it more blonde, yeah. Einziger. You pussy. You pussy. Did, did I not do it right? I didn't do the hair right? No. Look, he's spiking it up. It looks Look much better that. than mine. Come on. He's spiking his hair up. Look. Scott, what do you think of all this nonsense? I, I, I thought this was going to start later in the segment. Uh, it's it's got to start right away. Scott, wait it doesn't you. bother you that Maya brings up every... T- I love Maya, but... It's you every know, like time. I, it's like Mark McGrath. I dated Mark McGrath. The M on Mark. We think it's for me. And uh, remember at Gary's party, they were playing music, and Gary just has a bunch of CDs right. and a thing, and a Sugar Ray song comes up, and she runs to the turntable, or whatever the, the <laughs> thing is. <laughs> yeah. She has to change the song. So so, so that well, Scott won't hear yeah. it. Well, here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Here's a, a thing. true story. <laughs> a true story. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, and I like Mark. I, I have no beef with Mark, but I also have the advantage. <laughs> Advantage of information because I live with Maya. Right. So there's sort of two sides to every story. Go ahead. I was told that you told Maya that the M was for her. Uh huh. Did you ever say? Well, that I can. I, I might have said that. Right. Oh. <laughs> Mark's gonna be Maya's maid of honor. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I, Maya's great. She, you, Scott, you're a lucky guy, man. man. I am. So, thank you. Thank you. Because if it wasn't for you, I would have not have met her. Hey, you're a better man than I am. I blew it. Well, no. Did you did you dump Maya or Maya? No, 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 Maya dumped me. She did. Yeah, unequivocally. Yeah. Because you were messing just, around. Yeah, I was just, you know, as immature as I am now. What well, you, you became a rock star. I mean, you wanted to go enjoy being a rock star. I, I was a legend in my own mind then, so she was. Uh, she didn't get any of this. Did you ever try to get Maya back? Uh, yeah, there was some. Uh, there was sort of a, uh, you know, a, trying to a rebound period type thing happening, but you know, it didn't work out. Right, right. Was, uh, she she moved out here to New York. She used to live out in Los Angeles. Right. And she moved out here, and she was kind of it was kind of tough, you know, back and forth. Do you, does it appeal to you in some way that she's always still talking about you, telling everyone? I, I'm sure. I'm sure she doesn't talk to me about that much. You know. Because, what? Well, I mean, I'm sure it's. I mean, how how proud of that could she be? You know, come on. Please, I just told you what's happening. I'm writing a new song. Here it is. You ready? Oh God. Yep. <laughs> All around the world, Maya. T- talks about me. <laughs> Scott tries to dye his hair blonde. <laughs> Everywhere Scott knows that Maya banged me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, so, Scott. Yes, what, what would you like to know? Do you ever think when you're sleeping hmm. with Maya that Mark was there first? Oh, God damn it. What is it, what is it uh, oh. Sam? What? Mark gets vagina. You just, you're just a big pussy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Scott, are you aware of the the physical changes you're making are you, to look is, more it, like Mark? Are you Mark? consciously aware you're starting to look like Mark? I, I'm trying to look like Mark. It's it's a conscious attempt. <laughs> it is. It, no, seriously. It's nothing to do I with mean, it. And, and the, look, here's Mark, the reality. is that not your hairstyle? It's not no, your, oh, it's a very, you know, no. Mark is going to Everybody's got I, that I had, hairstyle. I would like to be back at the hotel when they really discuss <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. I brought a picture. I brought a picture of Mark to the woman who did my hair. You did? Yeah. yeah. I believe that. Look, I had a life. You know, before Maya, you know, and Mark, you know, Mark was with you her. You actually and, had a life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks, Tom Hanks. So it's like, and now, you know, and Mark has a life now, and I have a new life with Maya. So it's, there's no. Maya shit. thinks that some of the songs you wrote were about her. That's not true. Really? That's yes, not, that's not yes. true. As a matter of fact, I asked her last night, and she said that Mark never acknowledged that any songs were about her. Were any songs written about my? I'm being serious. Honest to God, uh, no. No. You know, I no. mean, I, I could say yeah. So there's for, no song that she should have to turn down just so Scott won't hear it. No, you know, also, this is well, this was like seven years ago. It's not I like know. It, but this happened kind of last like, week. No, I know. Yeah, so Scott, why is Maya I still turning I, I, I think Maya's that. making it all about her. I explain that. I explain that. I'll explain it. Please turn off that Sugar Ray song. I'll explain it for the benefit of Mark. 
<laughs> when we first started dating, I, I, I was honest. I said I was insecure about Maya having dated Mark. Right. And I think Maya still overcompensates a little bit for that, but I'm much more secure in our relationship. Right. So I think... Yeah, you're much more secure. You got the hair dye going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just completed and put on a dress! Yeah. Oh, oh! I, I mean, Maya's still talking about you. Well, that's, that's wild. I mean... Like I said, it was a while ago, and you know, Scott. Last time we were here was kind of it was a little kind of. It's more tense. It was a little more tense, but I see there's this sort of a. Well, listen. I'm getting married, glow, and I won. You, you lose or thing. <laughs> right, so, right, uh, you know right. what I mean. I'm over here. Yeah. yeah, he's about. He's got one foot on the altar already. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. He told me marriage is on his short list. Yeah. He never yeah, said that before. List, yeah. Wow. Well, good for him, man. Why so do you have to get married? He uh, wants to have rock kids. Group. Yeah, yeah, when are you going to start a rock group, Scott? <laughs> I am. No, I, they're, they're doing a little garage yeah, I, thing. I, I, I have a name in the band. Howard is a douchebag. <laughs> there we go. All right, I can go with that. I got another name. I got another name. Sugar Ray was here. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, I that's Salty Ray. <laughs> oh, oh, if you yeah, can't beat Hank, Hank. <laughs> you tell him, Hank. Make no sense whatsoever. <laughs> well, Scott, good luck I with your relationship with Maya. I think, really. I think Maya's a great girl. Yeah, she's great. I'm, she's, I'm really lucky. Beautiful. She's incredible. Scott's totally cool. I mean, it's hard to sit here and talk and like have. Fun. I have no animosity towards them. Of course not. Nothing but good luck. Right. What do you care? So uh, you should have sex with Sugar Ray's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All man. right. Thank All right, you, thank uh, you, Scott. Thank Scott Einziger, the executive job, producer Scott. of uh, the E television show and also the Saturday Night Television show and every television show I do. There he is. Up. Oh, the boys are shaking hands. I like to see shaking that. Shaking hands. All for love. Both. Well, all the hands that have been on Maya. What? Two cameras now? Dude, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What do you want to ask me? Nothing. I just want to make sure you're alright. I'm fine. How many times have you won on Rock and Roll Jeopardy? Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. 98, 99, and 2000 champions. Have they retired you? Uh, they didn't ask me back this year. Yeah. See, they did they're not. They're not going to have any more of that. Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I can only lose now, though, so I wanted to sort of... You know, maintain the crown, but Hank, I'm, I'm scared. Hank, you know, my, you know, my beef is Howard. What? I, I believe there'll be a real classic rock lean here today, right? Which is not something. It's not my strong point. Not, Are you making excuses? excuses? Are you afraid of a I'm, drunken dwarf? I could yes. be such yes, a yes, I fact. am. Ah! Well, wait a minute. You can't ask questions about Sugar Ray, though. All right, no All Sugar right. Ray questions. No, yeah. but you can ask them. Why don't you just mix it up? I'm we already got up. the questions written, Hank. What's uh, there is there. No. All right. I'm scared. Maybe Gary. He beat Gary, Unreal. and he beat John the Stutterer, who's a rock and roll expert. Who beat Let Fred. me tell you. Who beat Fred. So I'm terrified. Yeah. He beat Gary and then passed out. He was almost he was unconscious, <laughs> and he still beat Gary. Hank, you were so drunk when you beat Gary, you don't even remember beating Gary, do you? I remember seeing it on TV, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We're all shocked by how good Hank is at this, but yeah. uh, let's just see what happens when hey, Mark McGrath. There's no questions about guys over five feet tall. Right. <laughs> Here we go. I'll start with Hank, since he is the champ on this show. Please do. All right. And uh, Hank is right, and Mark is right, that the, this one is about classic rock. Okay. Right. Name the two brothers in the Kinks. Ray and Dave Davies. All right. Let's go to Mark McGrath. Who wrote the hit song, The First Cut is the Deepest, made popular by Rod Stewart? Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, Classic rock, man. You're, you're getting me again. Yep. I'm going to say Jeff Beck. That is wrong. Oh. I don't know that one either. Hank, you don't know either? You're locked out. All right. So it's even, right? It's even. That's right. No, it's not even. Who oh, Hank's, Hank's who, up to one. Who did write it, though? Yeah, who did write it? Cat Stevens. Ah. Uh, Gene Simmons. <laughs> yeah. all, right, all right. Come on. You screwed up this trivia. All right. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's just uh, keep going. Okay. Right. Hank, what is Paul McCartney's first name? James. That's correct. Yeah. Mark, name the guitarist who played with both Steely Dan and the Doobie Brothers. Uh, Jeff Baxter. That's right. Very good. All right, now we got a competition. Get in the 80s, would you? My God. Come on, we're going, we're going to keep moving to different times, okay? Just uh, relax. Yeah, that's the sevens. Yeah. All right, we'll be over here. All right, here we go. Hank, who was rejected as a possible member of the Monkees, but later went on to become a rock star in his own right? Steven Stills. That is correct. Wow. Oh, that's good. That is really that's good. good Hank. That's a good Notice one. Notice he doesn't even take any time. <laughs> that's right. All right, Mark McGrath. <laughs> moving more into an era you're more comfortable with. Who was born William Albert Michael Broad? Billy Idol. That's right. That is correct. Mark, I you're up to one. 
One, I got two, Ron. <laughs> you had a minus one. You had a minus. <laughs> God. God. All right. I'm in, the, I'm in the positive column. <laughs> Hank, Gary Wright of Dreamweaver fame used to play in what band? Spooky Tooth. Spooky Tooth ah. is right. I tell you, yeah. this this drunken dwarf is the best. I'm not drunk. That's the problem. Yeah, you better go drink. Get some, yeah. You got any Jack over there? Come on. <laughs> Give him a drink. I don't know about that. Just, All right. <laughs> that's some crazy juice you got happening here. Thank you, though. All right. This rock star's mother, this is from Mark. Who's right. Mark? Okay. This rock star's mother played Helen on the Jeffersons. Uh, Lenny Kravitz. That's correct. Very Hank, good. his nickname is The Big Man. His nickname is The Big Man. That one I don't know. All right. Clarence Clemens. That is right, Mark wow. McGrath. Wow. Let's go to Hank. What is the score now? Wait, does Hank get that again? 3-3. Three, three. No, he got rejected. He gets to go now. Oh, you're not subtracting my, uh, things from Hank I when mean, he's you, wrong? Yes. I, I just got Hank's question, so I don't get my, you know what I'm saying? What is the score? Give me the judges now and tell me what the score is. Is it 3-3? Three, three? Oh, they gave you one. All right. It is 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, but they sure. didn't take one from Hank. No, they did. No they funny did? business. Yeah. All right, so they're even. The score is right. Minus one. I can't hear you, Gary. The score is correct, Howard. <laughs> right. It's minus one if you don't get it. And right. Plus it's 3-3. Three, three. Trust me, guys. My bad. My bad. All right, okay. Take this seriously. You know. All right. Let's go to Hank. What was Badfinger called before they changed their name? Uh, that one I don't know. All right. Uh. Mark McGrath, the chance to steal. I don't know that one either. It, they were called the Ivies. Wow. Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf, the score is two to two. This group appeared in the movie Singles as Matt Dillon's band Citizen Dick. I don't know that one either. Who was, per, who was Pearl Jam? That is correct. Mark uh -oh. McGrath taking the lead. Pearl Jam was Citizen wow. Dick. Oy vey, Hank. It's three to one. Mark McGrath in the lead. Could this be the end of Hank's reign? Uh-oh, Hank. Mm. Three to two. Take another drink, what? Hank. Maybe yeah. you're, Three to two, sorry. Drying out. <laughs> Maybe. Hank, you drinking enough? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, what was, this is for Hank, what was the last album Ozzy Osbourne recorded with Black Sabbath in 1978? I don't know that one either. Oh! Whoa! Mark McGrath, chance to steal. I don't know that one either. Wow. Never say die. Shame, shamefully admit, Mike Stallone. Wow. Wow. It's zero for Hank and two for Mark McGrath. All right, here we go, Hank. Are you ready? Yeah. What was the name of Pete Townsend's 1985 novel? I don't know that one either. You don't know that one, Mark McGrath? Do you know? Do you, hey, if you guess, do you get a minus? Doesn't matter. You get a minus anyway, so you yes. might as well guess. Okay, I'm going to say it was, uh, God, Boy in a Bubble. Horse's Neck. God. You are the weakest link. one of you is doing very well. That's yeah. one thing. All right, here we go. We're going to get going. Hank, what member of the Faces did Pete Townsend record an album with in 1979? Kenny oh. Jones. Who? Kenny Jones. Wrong. Oh. Mark McGrath. Ronnie Wood. Wrong. Ah. Ronnie Lane. Oh, oh man. Jesus Christ. I don't think either one of us is worthy of being here. Uh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> Hank. Thanks, Robin. All right, go ahead. All right, here we go. What famous artist and painter was instrumental in the forming of the Velvet Underground? Andy Warhol. That is correct! Finally, Hank's back at zero. That is correct. Mark McGrath, what excitable boy was an early band leader for the Everly Brothers? Uh, um, I don't know. Hank! I don't know that one either. God. Warren Zevon, <laughs> excitable boy. That uh, was a clue. Not, not a fan. <laughs> Hank, what member of The Who released a solo album entitled Too Late, The Hero? Roger Daltrey. Wrong! Oof. Mark. It's a debacle. I'll have to see uh, John Entwistle. That is correct. Hank is at minus two. Mark McGrath at zero. <laughs> you are leading, Mark. Jeez, you might win by zero, That's Mark. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. <laughs> Hank, what former member of Genesis wrote the song Red Rain? What Peter Gabriel. Who? Peter Gabriel. That's correct. Mark McGrath, what member of Black Flag was shot and killed? Ooh. Uh. Um. Des Kadena? No, Hank. 
I don't know, wrote. Oh, that, that, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, too me. late. No, You're wait a done. minute, because he wasn't a member of Black Flag. You, you mean Joe Cole? It was Joe Cole, but I have okay, to. Well, I can't give that you. Minutes. Joe Cole was never a member of Black Flag. He was a friend of Henry Rollins. Okay, so that question disqualified. You're right. Yes, you're right. I, I recall right, that being correct. Well, now we got to change the scores all over again. That's so, all right. So that, that's Take not, it back and give back Hank his uh, number. Okay, here we go. All right, what's the score now? It's uh, your negative one, and Mark McGrath is zero. I got five questions to determine the winner, and this is it. this is it. All Hank, right, you guys. What band was Steve Marriott in prior to Humble Pie? Small Faces. That is correct. Small Faces. All right, Hank's up to zero. Mark McGrath, what's the actual name of the White Album? Pass, I don't know. All right, that's a negative. And let's go to Hank, the actual name of the White Album. Beatles. The Beatles is correct. Oh. Oy vey, Hank. Hank's up to one. Taking the lead. Hank up to one. Mark McGrath, negative one. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Who's Can you stand the suspense? Whose um, turn is it? It's Hank's. It's my What's turn. the score? It is one to minus one. Hank oh, in the lead. Lord. Who's, who are you asking now? Hank, Me, uh, name the Billy Joel album that was his tribute to early 60s rock and roll. That one I don't know. Mark, do you know? I'll say tell her about it. No, Innocent Man. Ugh. Woo! This is Hank, a game. Hank, what band was Jim Messina <laughs> in prior to Loggins and Messina? Poco. That's correct. I've been defeated already, right? Mark McGrath, one final question. This is it. He can never win. Who wrote the song, Woodstock? Uh, Arlo Guthrie. Wrong. Hank? Johnny Mitchell. That is correct. Hank oh. wins two to minus three. Wow. Once again, Hank has defeated his rival. It was a rough game. Hank Mark McGrath. Was. You are the king of 70s trivia. Oh, oh look yes, at him. Look at Did him. Did we not Try ask you? Billy guys. Idol was not in the 70s. You got you, you, you misread a black flag question. Okay, that's which true. Is a total bar, which I would have got. All right, give me a negative. And, uh, and there was like two other ones. I mean, you know, in terms still of rock, a, you still sore lost. loser. Sore loser. I am a sore loser, you're right. Yeah. You know, Hank, you are an incredible genius, though. I know. I still <laughs> have, still have sex with Scott Isaac's mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny about Mark. He's so goddamn good looking, and he's a rock star, too, to boot. Yeah. And uh, our, in, our new interns. The girls were fighting over who got to bring Marcus coffee. Right. Dude, that's got to be a great feeling. You know, come on. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice that, but uh, you got some nice people working here. But you I, wouldn't I, know I about at, it. My self-esteem's in my shoes right now. Why? Feel, what do you mean? I just got killed by Hank. Oh, please. Guess what? Your, what? Hank, your life will still be better than Hank's. How did, how did Gary <laughs> get over it? I don't now. think so. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, yeah, right. Gary had a hard time dealing with it. It's a little rough, man. He, it is. It I is. think you can take Hank in his drunken state. He's and, drunk. And, and Gary won in Rock and Roll Jeopardy also. Yeah, you know. Barbara, you're on the air. Hi, how you doing? All right. Good. Uh, I just wanted to know if Mark had a girlfriend. Mark, do you currently have a girlfriend? I've had a girlfriend, for, uh, up and down girlfriend relationship, tumultuous type thing for seven years. So you are up with her now? Right now we're in an up cycle, yes indeed. So you do have a girlfriend, you are yeah. not dating? I am not, no. Oh. I don't indeed. believe that for a minute. Ah, oh, come on, Eric. I like how he says up and down so he can explain all the sex he's had in between. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have this ongoing joke with my niece that I had to hook you up. And when you were on, I was like, oh my God, I had a call. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. Why would you do that to your niece? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She's so shy. Do you know that Shannon, our intern, inter intern wore a special outfit? She has her Sugar Ray outfit. A special on? outfit for Mark McGrath. I got to see what yeah. it is. Well, let's, let's check it out. Shannon, come on oh, in and show it. Okay, so I need help with a the special mic. outfit. No girls ever wear a special outfit for Hank, and he won the contest. I was going to say, Hank won no special outfit for him. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon, why is this a special outfit for Mark McGrath? Tell us what you did special for Mark McGrath. <laughs> I've been McGrath. waiting all week for him to come in. Oh, really? You've been waiting all week. Are you in love with him? You have a crush? I love, but You're making me big blush. crush. <laughs> big crush. Wow. You can barely look at him, can you? You look amazing today, may I say. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> is he your ideal man? I mean, looks-wise? Beside me, I mean. If you were a girl, come on. Really? Uh, I'm not a girl. I would I would take him to bed show. Why not? <laughs> Looks like a fun ride. Yeah. So you've been thinking about it. And why is this a special outfit? What did you do differently? I don't know. I just never wore a skirt here, ever. So. You usually wear pants? And Angie even noticed. He's right. like, you haven't worn a skirt all week. Wanted well, to show off your legs to Mark McGrath, perhaps, well, and Tyson. the whole band noticed, so they're all, they're all hey, drooling over themselves. Hey, Shannon, can I, we talked about something earlier, about who your mom used to hang out with. Is that okay, or would you yeah, rather not talk fine. about it? You know that Shannon's mom used to hang uh, and party with Gene Simmons and, and Ozzy no. Osbourne. No. Really? Is that right? 
Was she a girlfriend of Gene Simmons of Kiss? No, and she, I don't know. She told me she wasn't a groupie or anything, but there's lots of I know she hung out with them. She She's showed Shannon pictures. Yeah, she showed Shannon pictures of them hanging out. Wow. <laughs> now so there's us. now there's an intern in the office bumming out because she's not in there. She with did Mark. wear a special. Oh, she, she did. She oh, did. She she's did. also. If it's who I'm thinking of, it's she, Angela. Yeah, Angela. All of a sudden, there's in this like sort of dress, and I've never seen her in this sort of outfit. Jesus, either. Mark. Come what? In, Angela. <laughs> all right, yeah, Angela. Look at you with a special dress. Angela, I don't understand. Why not dress up? Girls. Why not dress up for Howard Stern every day? I don't. I understand. do dress up for you. You every do. Day, All right. And Angela, why don't you say hello to your father, Gene Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> hello. So, uh, any of you girls want to say anything to Mark McGrath? You want to take your best shot? Go this ahead. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity. I know you were fighting. I told him already that I have my money on him. Just, I'm sorry. Yeah, you didn't think you <laughs> thought he. I saw him on Rock I want you because you're shorter. Yeah. Hey, Angela. Uh, Angela. Bottom line, if if, if Mark if Mark says to you, you know, he's leaving. They said, here's my number. Meet me at the hotel at noon. Is that a problem? Would you Not do that? All. Not Absolutely. at all. Really? Wow. Fourteenth <laughs> and Willow. I'm not so you want him to decorate your face. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, not worthy. But. It's uh, Mark. It's got to be a great honor. Let me uh, l- let me say that whatever your ego went through losing to Hank the Dwarf. It should be better now. It should be better I have now. not one bit recovered. I do have to say, Mark, I did have positive numbers when I lost to Hank. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. You know, I, I tell you, the 70s, is, it's not my bag, baby. Yeah, yeah, well, but I'll take anybody in the 80s in the world, and I think I've proven that. Yeah, but you're a, you're a musician. You should know it. You're right, Hank, and I stand <laughs> Know your history. Know your history. Uh, let's go to line one. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Mark. Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, pretty good. Good, bro. My wife's birthday is tomorrow. Could uh, I bring you home as a present for her, and you can do her? <laughs> Sure, dude. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with you? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. A little birthday gift. What the hell was I reading about? Birthday well, gift. How come? I mean, you're yeah, maybe guy. He, maybe you'll end up marrying her. How come I never see you with the um, with the supermodels and stuff? Yeah, All right. Like, like the James Kings and stuff. Yeah. Why are you not with James King? So you got a number? My God. Yeah. That's, kid, that's kid Rock. I was kid, well. That was Kid Rock. You could get her and and her caliber. Nah, nah, nah. You know, I seriously, I've, I've had a girl for like seven years, and you know, I mean, we haven't been away that long, so you know, that's why. Nikki, you're on the air. Hey, I want to know if he's not dating other people. Will you still consider screwing other people? Would you still have sex with someone like Nikki? Nikki, are you very good looking? I've been told. Yeah. Yeah, what do you consider monogamous? Yeah, it sounds to me by the smirk on your face that you are still having sex with other people. Of course. No, 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 no. Mark, I'm not going to admit that. What do you do when you're on tour you're for not se- admit that. You're on tour for 78 days and you're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the hottest piece of ass walks up? He bangs her. <laughs> like her. How does he like redheads? Uh, uh, hey, man, that's that's fine with me. It's all good. It's all good, yeah. Right. Hank, are you proud of yourself? You beat Mark McGrath? Yeah, I kind of figured I would win. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you didn't do very well today. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I know, but uh, I still won. <laughs> you sound like, you I should, I, I, should, I thought that if anybody could beat me, it would have been him. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're too good. I stand corrected. Yeah. Well, you, listen, you lost. What are you going to do? Yeah, I People thought you... are lining up to take on Hank. You know? we're gonna Hank take, is good. Yeah, Hank is good. Bring we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Hey, Mark, Scott, congratulations on for real, dude. Seriously, man. I'm sorry about the bullshit. Yeah, I'm, I'm so used to it. Yeah. I know, man. But well, that's great. Good luck to you, man. Thank you very much. Have a good one, Scott. I was like, No, I just I was like, stop. You know what, dude? I told you what the deal was. 70s trivia is not my back, okay? And notice the one trivia they asked me in the 80s, the black flag question, was incorrectly asked. I mean, so I didn't stand a chance. I challenge Hank anytime in Jeopardy. I'm just being a sore loser. Hank beat me fair and square. I, uh, I'm going to start from you. I'm I'm pretty embarrassed. I'm going to stop believing my own hype. I'd be even more embarrassed if I was the first to go. But essentially, he's beaten Fred, John Sutter, and uh, and Gary. So, I mean, I don't feel too bad. He's, he's good. I dare anybody. Any of you viewers take him on. He's damn good. He knows they the 70s. They fed him the questions he's, to make him look good. They fed him the questions. He's got it wired. Earlier, so. He's got it wired. So, I, I stand I stand corrected, and I am defeated, and accept my defeat with no grace at all. I'm really pissed. I'm very pissed. Yeah, I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to the toilet. Wait. Here's Mark. Bow down, man. Now you don't have to do that. I have to. The, the king is coming. Don't look at him. The don't king. Look come on, guys. Don't, don't look at him in the eyes. Uh, come on, come on. You Good know, job, dude. You don't, have to, you don't have to do that. I'm not. I'm not like that, Mark. Dude, you won. Yeah. Oh, I know. I kind of figured I would. Did you really? You figured you'd win. Get out of here, get out of the way. I, yeah, well, I gotta go to the Senate, but I thought he would, uh, nice just come here. You gotta take a piss, dude? <laughs> yeah, well, just do it right in here, just, uh, so we get out of everybody's way. Thanks. Hey, Led Zeppelin, uh, did some of their songs in, uh, Twilight's. Yeah, let's go inside there. Well, I don't want you to film me, uh, film me pissing. No, you don't have to pee. 
Just walk well, no, I do, room. but, uh, you know. No, we'll walk inside there first. It's quiet. Right? I don't have to go that bad anyways. Who the hell's in here? Nobody. So, dude, you won. Yeah, I know. How you feel? Actually. Huh? I'm, you feel? I'm, I'm three and oh right now. I beat Gary. I beat uh, John the Stutter because he's a fucking asshole. Uh, and I beat Mark. Uh, Gary and Mark I like. John. Not you. I know. Did you know you were going to win? Did you predict it? I uh, said it before I was on the show, didn't I? Although I, I didn't think I'd win. Um, I don't know because of the the type of questions. It always depends on the type of questions to are asked. All but, right, Hank. But Congratu I, uh, congratulations on your big victory. Thank you. I, who's next? Or, uh, you know, as always, we write these uh, silly ideas. Sure. If you're not comfortable with the question, no, I'm sure I will. <laughs> Oh God! Woo! Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mark McGrath of Sugar A. Have I ever dated your girlfriend? Probably, and it was more than likely that it was the best sex she ever had. And right after sex with your girlfriend, I probably wrote a song about her. And while your girlfriend was douching to get rid of the remnants of moi, you were out buying her a ring and making reservations to take her out to dinner. And while your girlfriend is kissing you, she's thinking of me. I'll bet even Howard Stern is jealous of my action. Oh, God. Good seeing you, boss. Thanks, man. You too, right. man. Have a good one. This one's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs>